Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in Django Python how to create a table dynamically in MySQL PHP my admin database. Write the statement create table. The table name is student table. Let's add the student table here. The student table ID, integer type, not null. I'm adding primary key, primary key, primary key, comma, uh, here, comma. The next one is student name, varchar, 100. Just for the demo purpose, I have added only two columns, ID and student name. Let's close. Now, before create this table, Let's check in our database and login in root. If you notice here in the databases, the migration tables are added. Now I will add my own custom table in this AVC. Let's create table. See here we got a message table created successfully. Click OK. I will check if you notice there is no any student table in this ABC database. Now let's again the structure. See here we got the student table is added successfully. Let's browse this student table. And here we got the results of the student table. And this student table I have added only two columns ID and student name. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before creating a new Django web application, first we'll check the database. I just logged into my PHP my admin database, which is my SQL server. In this, in this panel, notice the ABC, which is my database. When I browse this database, and notice right now there is no tables found in this database. Now I want to create a new table in this database dynamically using Django web framework. Now before creating a new Django web application, first we'll create a new folder in this local disk D drive. I click the mouse, click new, I'm selecting folder. And here we got the folder. The folder name is create table my sql enter let's browse this table folder right now this folder contains empty now let's create a new django web application in this folder i'm using visual studio code to create a new django web application first in this visual studio we'll add about the project folder which we have created in the d drive Go to file, open folder. Now in the folder, the folder name is create table MySQL. Then click the select folder button. And the folder is added to our Visual Studio Explorer panel. This is the create table MySQL, it's a folder name. And at the right side, we got the welcome page. Let's close this welcome page. Now in this folder, we'll add We'll create a new Django web application for that. Go to view and select terminal. And here we got our terminal, which is nothing but a command prompt. If you notice, the path is the D drive create table MySQL, which is our the folder name. Now in this folder, I want to create a new Django web application, Django hyphen admin, a start project, and the project name is create table is my application name. Create table is the application name. And the application is created successfully. Create table in this folder. Let me expand this create table application. And in this application contains one subfolder and one manager.py python file. And also let me expand this create table. This subfolder contains some python files, settings.py, urls 
all these files and folders has been created automatically when I create this stop project create table application after that the next step after creating the application first let's run this server to check this application is working properly or not so cd we need to add our application name click enter after that uh, python manage.py i'm adding run server enter And if I run the server, notice there is no issues found. And below that, we got some 15 unapplied, unapplied migrations. So some warning message is there. So don't worry about that. Let's check the server. Below that, this follow link is our web server. Control plus mouse click. And here we got our default application of our project. The Django web application is working successfully. Now the next step, switch to the coding part. Now let's come out from the server, control C. And now uh, let's add the templates folder to our application. I'm selecting the application name, right click the mouse, click new folder. The folder name is a templates, enter. Uh, here we got our templates folder. Now in this templates folder, I am adding the HTML file. I click the templates folder, select new file, index.html. And here we got our index.html page. Now before adding the doctor by HTML code, what I will do is, I will add our views page, I am selecting the subfolder of our application right click the mouse click new file and views.py and here we got the views.py now in this views.py contains the function name so before the first install the necessary classes from django.shortcuts uh, shortcuts import a render class after that let's define the function def uh, create create tab is my function name request q u e s t request colon if request dot method double equals to post i'm posting the data so i want to create a data when the user clicks a button control colon then if request dot post dot get method now in this get method i will add a create statement so that create statement will get from this html input element so let's add here doc type i'm closing the html tag in the html tag i'm adding the header section in the header section i'm adding the title create table dynamically dynamically and after the header section i'm adding the body tag i'm adding the body tag Inside the body, I'm adding center tag. In the center tag, I'm adding H1. How to create a table and uh, table dynamically. Dynamically into MySQL database. Then the second header in Django web tutorials after that I'm adding horizontal line in the horizontal line I'm adding form tag the form method attribute I'm adding which is a post I'm posting the data then 
I am adding texture here to write our the uh, SQL queries text area. Uh, let's close the text area and uh, columns. These I'm uh, columns. I'm adding 250. Let's add 25 here and rows here. Rows is equals to. And the rows I'm adding and um, three. Three rows after that uh, I'm adding the style. Style. Um, style is equals to border. Border. Solid. Two pixels. And I'm adding the color is um, blue, blue color. And after the text area, I'm adding a simple break. Then uh, the input button control input type is equals to submit. I'm submitting the data, the value of the button, which is a button name insert or create table let's add the create table for the button name create table close the button control now in the text area i am adding one important property called name is equals to here give some the name of this text area is some x so this x is whatever we enter in this text area will pass here here that x values we are getting here for that um, we'll write the connection string here so what I'll do is from Django dot db import connection and now let's define the object cursor is equals to cursor is equals to I'm adding the connection class this connection class contains a method called cursor method I'm using cursor method this cursor method is helpful to execute our SQL queries here I'm using the create table which is a SQL statement after adding the cursor then I am executing the cursor dot execute the statement execute uh, executes method this execute method what values I'm executing this value request dot post dot get values then once the execute the statement is execute I want to return this function return a render the render request the second parameter will check I want to render this HTML page so add the index.html let's copy this one I require the else else part this else part is for the first if then add the return render let's save this file that's it it's a very simple call save all and uh, here in the index.html we need to add one important step here between curly braces percentage percentage in Django web applications when we are posting the data we must um, add this csrf underscore token the csrf underscore token it protects our data from the hackers when we are posting the data so make sure you add this line otherwise you'll get an error when we are posting the data we must add this line csrf underscore token let's save this file save all up to now we have finished the views and index next we need to configure the urls pattern so open urls.py uh, First, let's import 
um, from dot import views here in the views page I want to render the index.html so we require this create tab copy that one the function name I am copied the function name path single quotes views dot I am adding the create tab that's it let's save this file now the final step the most important step is we need to install our application name we need to configure our tablet and we need how to configure our database connection string in this settings.py let's open that one and here we've got our settings.py so come to the bottom first notice the install underscore app we need to add our application name so between the single quotes my application name is create create table make sure give the proper name the application name here then come to the bottom in the template section notice there is a directories attribute here here in the directories i want to join my templates folder with the base directory so os.path dot join method this join method takes two parameters one is a base directory i want to join the templates folder with the base directory so between single quotes i'm adding the templates make sure you give the exact name here the templates and this templates folder contains our index.html pages now the final step we need to configure our database sections and the database is known is the default database engine is the SQLite 3 but we are using here MySQL so add MySQL and the name also delete this default code with a single cause here the name is our database name so our database name is uh, ABC so let's add that one ABC is our database name then user user is equals to root comma password password column comma again single quotes I'm using uh, host uh, host is equals to local host then we require the port number also port is equals to double three zero six and the last one is the options options we have to put in between these single quotes column between curly brackets single quotes init underscore command column against double quotes set and setting SQL mode SQL underscore mode is equals to within single quotes uh, strict underscore trans underscore tables that's it we have configured our the database section also let's save this file save all now it's time to check the output first we have to migrate uh, these ones the 15 unapplied migrations so copy this line python manager py that command enter so after applied the all migrants to application now let's run the server run server and notice here after I run the server I don't have any issues and also I have not got any uh, warnings here the migrations warning and this is our the web URL which we have already opened here now look when I refresh this browser we will get our index.html page which is our default page for this application So here we got the header section, the text area and one button control. What I'll do is, 
uh, in that index.html, I will add some small uh, JavaScript snippet on click event uh, return return alert message uh, alert message between single quotes now in the single quotes I'm adding table created successfully so once the table is created I want to display this alert message so let's save this file save all now switch to the index.html now reload the browser so after reload the browser write the statement create table the table name is student table let's add the student table here the student table id integer type not now i'm adding primary key primary key primary key comma uh, here comma the next one is student name where care 100 just for the demo purpose i have added only two columns id and student name let's close now before create this table let's check in our database and login in root if you notice here in the databases the migration tables are added now i will add my own custom table in this avc let's create table see here we got a message table created successfully click ok now we'll check if you notice there is no any student table in this abc database now let's again the structure see here we got the student table is added successfully let's browse this student table and here we got the results of the student table and this student table i have added only two columns id and student name that's it I have created a table dynamically into my SQL database using Django Web Tutorial, using Django Web Framework.